reading. So we are going to do a video, a tarot reading, uh, well, Oracle tarot reading. So for the sign of Virgo, I haven't done one for a while and I do my style. I don't really hook on to relationships, but they, if they come up, they come up. I just go by what the cards and intuition and spirit are saying in the universe. So we're going to go ahead and get a message for you guys today. We are going to use the Wild Goddess Oracle, the Native, uh, Native Spirit Oracle, and, and I got some Native American music playing. You hear the flutes in the background if you hear it. And then we also have the spirit animal, 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 animal that is assisting you. And of course, then we're going to use two tarot decks. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot as well as the, um, you know, the infamous Rider Waite. Okay, so let me just get a drink of my coffee here. All right. So let's get into this. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. So it can be sun, moon, or rising. Um, please take what resonates. I the, the tarot and oracle are divination tools. Um, they bring in what energies surround you, what's coming up, what's what's in your circle. And, you know, they can be, um, you know, varied in different areas. It could be your relationship, your family, your coworkers, you, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everybody. But we're going to go ahead and see what spirit um, in universe wants to bring up at this time for the sign of uh, Virgo. And remember, there's, you know, just like the newspaper horoscopes, there's so many Virgos that it's not going to relate to everyone. Or sometimes you have to use your mind and decipher which way it's going because the energy is just coming in, but it doesn't say specifically what area it's around. So we're going to go ahead and see for you, Virgo. And I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's coming up. And for some reason, today seems like a Sunday to me. I think that vacation just kind of threw me off uh, kind of my timeline or something. It is Wednesday, but let's go ahead and see what's coming up. What's coming up? Spirit, let's... Oh, I forgot to give a deep appreciation for the universe and spirit. We appreciate um, your support and everything you do for us. Okay, so we have the mermaid. I love that. So the mermaid... It's for you, Virgo. And it says, look below the surface of your emotional reactions to know, to know what is really going on. For things, you're not always what they see, may seem. So, okay. So you might be reacting emotionally. See, that's why the thing is about mastering our emotions. We have to be careful with that um, because we can go overboard with it. We can, uh, um, and especially when we start overthinking things. But, you know, our emotions can play a big part. You know, you've noticed there's like a lot of crimes that happen because of emotions. Um, people having breakdowns because of emotions. So there's something under the surface that you're reacting some way. But you got to get that clarity within. Like what is causing you? What is triggering you to um, act this way? So low, looking below the surface. Like what's in your fears? What is in your subconscious? What is in here? Um, deep within your heart that is causing you to um, have this emotional reaction, all right? There could be something, you know, you notice that a lot of people will get triggered and act a certain way, and you're like, why are you, like, blowing this all out of proportion? I don't get it. But it's something deep-seated from your past, like a wound or something like that, or, or something reminded you. Like, you know, smells can remind us of a time in the past, you know? Like, if you ever notice, like... Um, you know, maybe you used to go to your grandmother's and she used to bake cookies on Christmas. So that pine smell or those cookies baking might trigger you back to something from your childhood when you're with your grandparents. You know, anything. It could be like a relationship, maybe a certain cologne, maybe a way, a mannerism that somebody acts. Whatever it is, there's some kind of deep-seated um, feeling or wound or something like that that is causing you to react emotionally. So let's go ahead and see what this uh, bottom card is. The bottom card, oh, we had Drama Queen. Interesting. Are you getting a little dramatic? I don't know. Um, it could be somebody else in your life. We have the war, war, net, Warress. Oh, I guess it's a female warrior, I guess. You have the ability to conquer your fears and faults and the right to defend who you are, who you love, and what you believe in. Ah, there we go. See, we're getting a little more deeper. This is the, uh, might be the underlying thing. Um, you know, conquering your fears and faults and defending what you love and, and who you connect with right so that could be that that so let's go ahead and get a native spirit card see what the native spirits have a message for you so so far we got that mermaid which is that deep mysterious ocean energy water and then we're going to go ahead and get a native spirit energy let's see makes me miss um arizona <laughs> the native american energy um 
Not that we don't have them here, we do too. It's just a different kind of tribe. Oops, there we go. Vision quest. Ooh, so see, you're being asked to like go deep and really like subconsciously see what that is. It's time to go deep. And then we have warrior of the heart. I love that on the bottom. Yes, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and read this visions of the deep. I mean, visions quest. Why did I say visions of the deep? That's interesting. Vision quest. You know, a lot of times those Native Americans will go off in solitude and, and you know, like uh, it's kind of like scrying or things like that. Being able to see images that will, you know, get you back on track of things, give you clarity, things like that. But we're going to go ahead and read this vision quest. Okay, here it is. Vision quest. Card meaning. Sacred seeker. Take time away from people and situations yeah some solitude time and that's your card the hermit so um step back withdraw inner truth is emerging in stillness but first you need to retreat know that you're guided look for the answers in different ways the answers are around you watch for signs in the coming day trust that your life is being directed all right so something is triggering you to maybe go off and go into solitude take a deep revelation of your life, your, your purpose, your mission, any wounds that need healing, things like that, your relationship status. So it says your native spirit wants you to know in earth-based cultures, larger questions about life are often answered on vision quest or solo retreats in nature. Questions such as who am I? What am I meant to do with my life? And what is my mission here on my purpose in life? We're often answered on quests of various kinds. Even if you don't have burning questions, when this card chooses you, it's telling you it's time to take away from your ordinary life. Take time to explore the depths of your soul. Your soul knows the truth. Take time to quiet to, to discover what it is. The answers to your questions are all around you, but you must be still to hear these messages. So the journey says spend time alone, preferably in nature, without your cell phone and internet, and even without pencil and paper or book. Simply be, listen to the world around you, be still, watch for signs, open your heart to receive messages from the divine. Okay, so, you know, if you're able to, maybe a little retreat, just go sit out in the forest, sit by the ocean, you know, leave your phone behind, leave friends behind. This is time to do a deep revelation and you're going to get some answers. So I feel for a lot of you, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to get a little horse here. <clears throat> so I feel for some of you now that these emotions that are surfacing that you don't understand is kind of trying to push you into solitude. It's like the way the uh, universe and spirit work. They're trying to like trigger you, like say, hey, there's something still there that you need to take care of so you can get on track with your purpose, your mission, who you really are, what you stand for, things like that. So, you know, because we can get boggled down by, you know, everything around us you know everybody knows that it's just kind of crazy you know we have everybody's opinions we have this we have that there's always there's no quiet it's always chaos going on somehow so this is saying take some time off if you can take like you know a little weekend or even a day to just go you know leave the technology behind leave the chaos behind and just go you know go out in nature so you can ground yourself and hear those messages okay all right so now we are, I, I, with all the other signs, I did the spirit animal last, but we're going to get your spirit animal that's guiding you now, and then we'll finish off with the tarot, okay? So let's go ahead and see what spirit animal is assisting you through this vision quest and figuring out what those emotions are and things like that. So let's see. And you see what I'm saying, that the cards, it's talking about you individually, but it can also affect, you know, your partner, your relationships, status, excuse me your connections with others your whole life basically you know emotions if they're not controlled can really wreak havoc on things so it's good to get that done and we all go through that like wondering what's what's the meaning of life why am i here why hasn't my life went this certain way so it's just like it's that's part of your journey right now so let's go ahead and see what else is coming up Oh, we have the deer spirit be bring a gentle touch i love that so bringing a gentle touch so you know virgo this is no diss against you, but you do like to have perfectionism. You do like to have control and have things in order, right? They must go a certain way and be this. But, you know, this isn't a time to beat yourself down for not being perfect or having the answers. This is being gentle with yourself with yourself and others. But this is definitely, most, most definitely being uh, gentle on yourself. And I love that the deer lives out in the forest kind of in solitude with his own little group, right? And then when he does come out into... Uh, the chaos, the society of humankind, 
he either gets hit by a car or shot. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's an awful analogy. But I, you know, it's kind of sad that we are kind of taking over their habitat. But yeah, so this is gentle like a deer, right? So let's go ahead and see what this card means a little bit. This is number 18. Bring a gentle touch. So this says... The time has come to be gentle and diplomatic when dealing with others. You might have found yourself in a situation where negotiations are necessary in order to reach your goal. Be mindful of the words you choose, but do not worry. Dear Spirit reminds you that you have the ability to be sure-footed and confident while showing humility and respect for others. So there might be this issue with when, you, when it's saying about your emotions, you might be like all over the place, causing some drama, creating drama with other people because you're questioning it, um, moody, whatever it is, okay? And I know I have a Virgo daughter and she can get pretty moody. Don't tell her. Shh. <laughs> I have, you know, it's kind of clashes with the Aries, you know, so I love her to death, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so that your capacity for common ground and communication is heightened at this time. Yeah, see? Uh-huh. Yeah. Follow the day of dear spirit and you will be well gaining in respect of others and finding common ground that is pleasing to you. Remember that understanding others and their needs will be more powerful at this time than putting your own first. If you do that, you will be rewarded tenfold. So I kind of feel like a lot of times when our emotions are all over the place, a lot of times we're going along with what other people want. So you might be trying to please other people, trying to fit people in a certain mold, and it could be creating a lot of havoc and, and, and turmoil within you. So this says the protective message is dear spirit is bringing you a gentle warning that now is the time to engage, is not the time to engage in an argument. Um, no matter how volatile others are being, do not match their intensity with their with your own. If you're dealing with an overly assertive person, step back and disengage. Yeah, I think it is. It's time for you to just step away from it uh, right at this moment. Don't let anyone else bully you into anything you're uncomfortable with. You have solid footing if you stand your ground with grace. Those who disagree will begin to find their own gentleness and willingness to compromise. Dear Spirit also brings the message that it might be easy to offend someone today. <laughs> Or take offense because someone lacks dip diplomacy. Diplomacy. Let all that pass. You are not meant to take this world personally. While it's beautiful gift to be sensitive, today you need to to need a tougher side to that any compromises that may allow you to maintain your integrity. Yeah, so standing your ground, maybe just stepping away. Sometimes it's best just to walk away and not create any drama or chaos because that can backfire and come back on us as well, right? So I am going to look at this bottom card, the rhino, and it says overcome any obstacle. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is your underlying uh, spirit animal that's helping this little deer out. Let's just see the basics of this. We're going to look at the protective message or something. PQR. All right. A lot of peas in here all right rabbit rhino here we go so this rhino and i love the flowers around him it's beautiful all right uh we always have the choice to press ahead rhino spirit offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles i love that yes yeah so i feel like this is something that you know you might be button heads with even if it's yourself like that i, I kind of feel like people that want control and perfectionism are kind of, you know, have that stubborn energy. And you are an earth sign. You know, not to say that all the other signs aren't stubborn, but, you know, you can have that grounded, stubborn way about you. Like, I'm not budging. <laughs> so it says, the appearance of an obstacle in front of you offers you a choice. Barrel into it, bang your head, and find your easiest way around it, and don't fight it. So those are the choices. So I kind of feel like don't fight it and stepping away to find, you know, how you really feel, because right now your emotions are playing a big part of that. All right? Um yeah so and then look at the bottom after that turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace yeah i feel like right now you need kind of grace and just to step away and go within all right so let's go ahead and close this message with a few tarot cards to see if we can get some uh, more direct energy or some clarity on these cards here let's see You know, sometimes we do have a tendency to close off, too, when we're very emotional. That stubborn energy closed off. So, and then butting heads, you know. So, let's see. All right. So, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, this could have something to do with family. Yeah, look at this. We have a past energy, too, which is reversed. So, yeah. 
So we have a lot of family energy here. So this could have something to do with family. This is like moving away from the turbulence. Again, I don't think you should participate and don't create any drama or make anything out of it. I think it's best right now to kind of just let it flow and move away from it and trying to get centered yourself, all right? Because something here is really affecting you. And it looks like it's either something from your past. So it could be family, friend, your friends, your, your partner that you've been with a long time. Um, it looks like, you know, there's some kind of disagreement, energy um, that's kind of uh, rocking your material world, your home life, whatever. Let's go ahead and see. You know, Ten of Pentacles can be also work. So, But it, with that Six of Cups reversed, I feel like that it's more of a um like kind of a family and it does i mean family doesn't have to be blood we can have family that are you know just really close friends or somebody we married into or in-laws or anything like that but let's see what else yeah now we have the four of wands see it's something about your foundation and stability here this is usually good energy but i feel with the six of cups reversed it's kind of i feel like something from the past has caused some kind of issue it's come it's come up you know, and I, and for some of you, I feel like it could be um, so, somebody did something wrong in the past and you kind of said, OK, we've moved on. We're forgiving that. And now it's resurfaced, you know. So, yeah, we have the king of wands. It could have something to do with a uh, masculine. So like a husband, a father or uncle or grandfather. Let's see what else. Somebody that's very fiery and passionate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, there's some toxic energy in here. This could be a Capricorn, but there's some kind of toxic energy or negative energy in this situation that's creating some chaos. And then we have judgment. Again, this is saying to go within, step away, do a deep dive into you, figure out what your purpose is, what you want out of the situation. You know, don't let this, whatever this drama or situation from the past coming up, create havoc for you. It's time to step away and figure out how you want to handle it with grace and move forward for the, your best of uh, um for your best good so um instead of participating in it and creating more drama especially for yourself it's best just to you know take some time to yourself go ground yourself figure out why these emotions are coming up you know what triggered it because there's something maybe that's not healed maybe the band-aid got ripped off and it's you know starting to weep and bleed all over the place so that is your message virgo i wish you the best you know, sometimes we do, we think something's all gone and swept away and then it'll pop back up. That's the thing about healing. We need to heal um, consistently, completely heal because if you notice, you'll think things are good. But then if something comes back up and triggers it, you're just bleeding all over the place again. So because it hasn't completely healed, you know, um, when you know that you're still at peace with something that comes up, even though it gives you a twinge and you're like, mm, you know, that bothers me. But, you know, hey, the past is the past. I'm good. You know, I've worked through all that. Then, you know, I mean, it's not like it won't come back up anyway. But if it isn't, you're going to be like emotional. You're going to have anger. You're going to have fear. You're going to have uh, revenge, things like that. You're going to be like really a mess if it hasn't completely healed. So, you know, it's, you know, it's always a work in progress. We always have things all the time. So I wish you the best for a go. And thanks so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Take care.